everyone, Matt here, rcgroups.com, and in this quick tutorial I want to show you guys, or all of you that are using uh, a point-and-shoot Canon camera for your aerial photography on your hexcopters, helicopters, or video, anything like that, a pretty cool way to trigger these Canon cameras without putting a servo on top. As you know, the servo, you, know, you have to tape the servo on, or you have to have some kind of um, way to push this button on top here. But a much easier way to do it is with a firmware update called CHDK, and that's Canon Hacker Development Kit, I think is what it's called. And it works on virtually all Canon cameras. It allows you to use the USB port to trigger the camera, as well as turn on and off video, and a bunch of other things that you can do. So what I did, sorry, what I did was I took a USB cable and created this guy right here, if you can see it, used a Turnigy switch and basically powered it with um, 5 volts from the receiver and now when you load the firmware you can switch the camera, you can trigger the camera with this guy right here. So basically this is just 90 degree USB, I just cut the sheath of it off and, and bent it. You could buy a 90 degree or you could use a straight one if you have the room. It's got four wires coming out. Now, it, basically we're going to only use two wires, the uh, positive and the negative. And the negative goes to, uh, basically you're going to cut them all back and you're going to strip the positive and the negative. The negative is going to go to a servo here, servo wire, to just tap into your receiver for five volts uh, for the negative. And then the five volt here goes to this wire here and then the other one goes over to 5 volt here. So basically we're, we're using this as a switch. It just goes from here to there. So you know this this Turnigy switch is like six bucks. Pretty nice little piece of equipment works perfectly for what we got. So what you do is you load CHDK firmware onto a onto an SD card and there's multiple ways to load it, but we're just going to do it where you have to load it every time, just for this review. So what we do is we uh, basically, whoop, did it wrong, sorry. You turn it on with your play button there, and then we're going to hit menu, and then we're going to go to firmware update, and we're going to hit OK. Now we're just tricking it, we're not really doing a firmware update, we're just tricking it into thinking it's a firmware update to read what's on the card. And we hit OK. And then now we are in CHDK mode. So we can go to setup and um, allow it in the setup menu to recognize the USB. It's pretty simple. It's all in the instructions. And then we'll plug it in like so. There we go. We got it plugged in. And then we're going to attach the positive and negative to any channel that's open and then we will put this uh, switch on channel 5 here and then we're going we have a spare ESC that I'm just going to use for purposes of powering it through a 11 11 uh, volt lipo so we'll put that on there like so and power it up there we go using the trusty 11, uh, excuse me, 10 CA. Now all we got to do is flip the switch like so. And there we go. We now have the ability, if you, let me see if I can see this better, sorry. There we go. Ready? Works. You can switch as fast as you want pretty cool and it is a no mess solution to powering a Canon point and shoot or a Canon digital SLR just straight in through that USB port on the side I will put some links in the uh, thread that's accompanying this video to show you how to use CHDK it's, it's pretty foolproof it's easy to just pick the camera download the firmware uh, onto a uh, disc and run it. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the quick tutorial and uh, thanks a lot.